Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's short, we'll be discussing the recently published scientific paper from the University of Chicago and the University of Bath that basically concludes that the Tyrannosaur Nanotyrannus is a valid taxon, that Nanotyrannus is a distinct species separate from T. rex. Now, the arguments have been raging for decades whether Nanotronus fossil material represented a genuine different species or whether they were merely representatives of juvenile T. rexes. Well, in this new paper, they've looked at bone histology, looked at the growth rates from the bones and assessed all kinds of characteristics and traits related to the fossil material. In collaboration with the study of a frontal skull bone, that's been identified as coming from a juvenile T-Rex. And all their lines of inquiry lead to one simple conclusion, that Nanotronus is indeed a valid genus. And one of the ironies is, the reason why there's not been that many T-Rex, baby or juvenile fossil bones to study might be because there's a secondary predator in the late Cretaceous environment of North America, actively hunting and eating baby T-Rexes. So that's the scientific paper. We've put a blog article up today all about it with a link to the scientific paper also published in Everything Dinosaur's Facebook page. It's worth a read and I think this debate is going to go on and on but for the time being the likes of PNSO with Logan the Nanotronus and indeed Wild Safari with their Tronus model, Nanotronus model, well basically they're on the right lines and if the paper's to be um, proven to be correct then Nanotronus is a valid genus and that's why we've got dinosaur models of Nanotronus. Hope this helps. Thanks again. Bye bye now.